Jonah, you didn't even finish your homework. You were so eager to become a bear that you just threw your homework on the ground. Like, hello. Oh my gosh, why? <laughs> I cannot do this. I freaking hate this phase so much. What even is this? Keeps me high. Hello, my beautiful pupperoos. My name is Taylor. It is so wonderful seeing you here today. I hope you're having an incredible day. Welcome back to the second episode of my Sims 4 Single Mom Let's Play. Thank you guys so much for the support on the first episode. I'm glad that you guys are excited for this as well. So in the last episode, we just, um, Amelia's best friend Harry invited us to his house, um, just for like, I don't know, just to hang out, um, just to get our mind off of things. And it's obviously helping because everyone's in the better mood. I mean, Jonah, oh, nope, just kidding. He just got happy. I was gonna say that he was still sad, but the second I was gonna say that, he became, oh, now he's confident. Okay, you go, Jonah. I don't know what's happening. Like, I don't know. Oh, Elena decided to come up and greet us. Okay, we'll just, we'll go have a chat with her as well since we're here and, you know, I mean, we're, we're still good friends with her too. But please don't come out into the hallway to her, actually. I really don't want that to happen. I don't want this entire conversation to happen outside in the hallway. Oh, how thought-provoking. Amelia seemed to enjoy that conversation with Harry, especially when they explored more serious, thought-provoking topics. A good conversation becomes great once the mind is engaged. Could this mean that Amelia likes deep thoughts? Sure. I always try to accept um, anything that comes up like that just because I think it's fun. Oh, yeah. Also, um, I became, or I became, what? I came up with like this rule for this series. So because Amelia is a philanthropist and all she really wants in the world is to give, we are going to start this new rule that every single episode, Amelia has to donate money to charity. Regardless of how much money they have in the household funds, she needs to donate money to charity. So is there actually a computer in here that we can use just so just so I don't forget okay here we are so we're gonna go ahead and have Amelia go and donate to an online charity right now she's actually going to donate a thousand simoleons um let's see here what would what would she do here Loki I feel like she'd want to do no sim left behind or simoleons for everyone we'll do no sim left behind right now because why not and oh my god you guys that made her feel true happiness isn't that awesome she loves helping people you guys I'm gonna pretend that that's why she feels true happiness anyway. Her fun is actually kind of like not great, um, which makes a lot of sense, but while she's in a better mood, I think it'd be fun for, where'd he go? For Harry and her to go out and do something together, just cause get their mind off of things, um, kind of distract themselves a little bit. Um, and I think, oh, I don't know. I don't know if Amelia would trust Elena to like watch her kids. Like obviously she trusts her, but like, I don't know if she does right now. And like given what happened, she just, she doesn't want her kids to be, oh wow, they are, this is pinnacle of siblings right now. Oh my gosh, new family dynamic, difficult. Some Sims just can't seem to get along with each new conversation and interaction having the potential to turn unpleasant. It's certainly looking that way for Madeline and Jonah. Really? But in the first episode, they were being so cute together and just so sweet. Madeline literally woke him up to comfort her after having a nightmare. She didn't wake up her mother, she woke up her brother, and that is the cutest freaking thing on this planet. So this is, this is very out of the blue. I was not expecting this. Um, family members with the difficult family dynamic will be mean to each other more often, can easily become bitter with each other, and intentionally neglect social calls what this i thought they were gonna be like best friends man i did not i did not see this one coming i really i'm gonna have to say no because i think the main reason this is happening is because um madeline is angry right now for some reason i assume she's just like hungry or something and she's just taking it out on her brother and i feel like this is just not this isn't correct so i'm gonna say no um and like let's actually check on her yeah she's just tired so maybe it's actually best that we go home because madeline definitely needs to take a nap so we're just we're gonna gonna head home. She's just gonna wrap up this conversation and she's gonna head home. Wow, she's literally gonna make me sit through and watch her run all the way across this little area to go home. And then it's gonna send me to a loading screen on top of that. That's so amazing. I love how they do that. Hello? She just, <laughs> she left Jonah there. I love the Sims. Wow, this is great. Okay, so we are back home and we are definitely, Amelia is immediately, okay, she's immediately going to go for a swim, I guess. No, she's immediately gonna come up here and um, put Madeline. She's, she's gonna make Madeline. Oh my God, I forgot it was, no. 
Oh, I forgot it was Easter. Oh, she really needs to take a nap. Oh, we're gonna have Amelia put Madeline to bed and I think Jonah's gonna have a look around um, to try and find some eggs. I can't believe I freaking forgot this. I would have, oh, I should have made Rose and them go Easter egg hunting together. That would have been so cute. Oh my gosh, I can't believe this. Guys, I, I failed. <laughs> I can't believe this. Oh my gosh. Wait, does Jonah have homework he needs to do? Yes. Okay. Well, now I'm torn because Jonah definitely wants to be like perfectionist. He wants to be a grade eight student. He wants to be the best um, for his mom. So I don't know. I feel like he would prioritize his homework over finding eggs. So I think we're going to make him do his homework because right now he's a grade C student and that's definitely not what he wants. Um, so he's going to get his homework done and Amelia is not awake. Oh, oh, she's napping in here. Okay. You know, that's whatever. Oh my gosh. She's currently. Okay. That is a weird animation. <laughs> uh, girl, she's currently going to the bathroom and I don't know why she, uh, she's looking like that as she does, but, um, we're just, we're going to ignore that. Um, I'm actually going to have her come up here and change her diaper right now so she doesn't like so it doesn't like make her in a bad mood or anything whoa oh my god why would why did she just come out of that so scared is she scared of the of the bear why is jonah in a phase oh my god jonah is going through a phase he's discovered an animal he connects with jonah will only want to wear his bear suit oh my god kid where why does it have to be lime green avocado bear suit? Like, why can't <laughs> you scare? You're scaring your sister. Oh my god! <laughs> Look what you're doing. Oh my gosh! She's never gonna be able to. Oh, okay. Maybe she's not scared. He scared her a little bit, but then, but then Jonah was like, "Oh my god! Oh my god!" Madeline keeps kicking Jonah. Madeline exhibits less control over her moods and emotions compared to other sims her age. This lack of emotional control may ma manifest in her behavior and worsen with age. Oh my gosh, we need to work on that, definitely. And Albert Newton would like to come over to hang out, is that okay? I would absolutely love to have grandpa come over, but it is 8 p.m. and the kids are gonna go to bed soon. Jonah has school tomorrow, so I just don't think it's the right time. I'm sorry, Albert, but I'm sure he really wants to come over, so maybe we'll invite him around uh, tomorrow. We'll have to do it after Jonah comes home from school. But I feel like Madeline got scared by Jonah, Jonah's bear suit, and then he came over and hugged her, but then she was like, but why? I No. Like, Jonah tried to comfort her, but Madeline did not like it. <laughs> She's very angry right now. I'm just trying to get her to take a nap, but like, she doesn't seem to want to, so I guess that's her choice. She is getting hungry too, which, I mean, it is 8 p.m. and none of them have eaten, so that's awesome. I think I'm just gonna have her make spaghetti, because because why not? Okay, is Madeline finally getting a nap? I was trying to just get her to go to bed, but like she also needs to eat. So I'm just gonna have her nap until uh, the food's done. And Jonah, you didn't even finish your homework. You were so, so eager to become a bear that you just threw your homework on the ground. Like, hello. Oh my gosh, why? <laughs> I cannot do this. I freaking hate this phase so much. What even is this? Like, why is he wearing an avocado bear suit right now? Okay, Amelia, please finish the spaghetti so your kids can eat. What? What do you mean? Why can't she do anything? She can't cook anything? Okay, never mind. I guess we'll just have some leftovers. I... whatever. Come on, kiddos. Get some food. I don't know why it's not letting her cook anything, but at least we have leftovers. Please put Madeline in the high chair. She's gonna be very angry, but I'd rather he her be angry. Actually, she's probably gonna be so angry that she doesn't even eat. She's just gonna like throw the food on the ground. Oh, why is there a dirty diaper just sitting on the ground? That is so awesome. I love that so much. And Jonah is complete with his homework, which is great. Even in his bear form, he can still do homework. I just, ugh. Lord, I cannot tell you how much I hate this, hate this phase. It's kind of funny, but like, also, why? <laughs> why? It's so annoying. I spent hours in create a sim creating you, and you're just gonna put on a bear costume? I can't believe this. How does he even eat anything? Like, that that ain't working. What? 
Oh my gosh, I'm just gonna ignore him. You know, it's whatever. Please put Madeline in the high chair so you can eat. I know that you're hungry, but please, you got this. Thank you. Oh my gosh, she's gonna eat something. <laughs> That's incredible. Not my Sims actually listening to me. This is insane. I never thought I'd see the day. She's upset. Okay, I don't know what she's upset about. I mean, she's the one who like threw the dirty diaper on the ground, but I, I cleaned that up for her. So I don't know what she's complaining about. Is it this one single plate Jonah literally just got done using? Is that why she's upset? Oh my god, those are spoiled. Do not eat those. How did I miss that? Oh my gosh. Okay, well, she gave her kids the good food. She's gonna go ahead, clean out the spoiled food, and then just have a quick meal because it is 11 p.m. She needs to get her kids to bed. Oh my gosh. Jonah has school tomorrow. He definitely needs to go to bed. And Madeline should have been in bed ages ago, but she's sleeping in the high chair, I guess, because it says that she's asleep. Girl, can you please eat? Wow, she's really just telling me no. <laughs> she, she really just... Okay, that was... This impeccable timing. I cannot lie. Okay, Amelia, I'm sorry. You're just gonna have to wait. You're gonna have to chill until she's done eating so you can put her to bed. But actually, oh my god, she just ate the whole thing without throwing it on the ground. She is exhausted though. Oh my lord. Okay, we're definitely just gonna read her to sleep right now because she definitely needs it. I literally, wow, she's literally falling asleep in the chair. I don't, this is like rarely ever happened to me. Oh my god, that's such a cute little, oh my god, her stretching, that's so cute. Oh, why is she, oh, because, she, oh wait, what? She drank pool water? Well, why did you drink pool water? I didn't tell you to do that. What in the world? And I need to get her to drink some water. Okay, because I'm not gonna have her pass out again. I literally thought that she died. Like, I straight up. When I saw her pass out on the ground, I literally thought she was dead. And I just thought my game glitched and I just didn't get the, the notification. Like, I literally thought she was dead. <laughs> like, it was not good. But we're just gonna take care of his needs. Um, and then he's gonna also go to bed because he does a school in like seven hours. So, and he's still awake. So, that's great. She literally... Oh my god, Amelia literally came up here to read you to sleep and you had to pass out? What? Excuse me? Oh my gosh, I literally hate when Sims do this so much. It literally makes- it drives me insane. Oh lord. Also, we need to be potty training her and helping her with her skills, but like I just haven't had the time to... Really? Okay, her communication skill is literally max. Go her, except she literally doesn't have a potty skill. <laughs> Like, she's not doing the best in that, but, um, it is literally three in the morning, guys. <laughs> I'm trying, guys. This is not okay. Does she have work tomorrow? Uh, yeah, it does say that she has work. I think she's just gonna start working from home. I mean, I don't know what else she's gonna do, because she definitely doesn't feel comfortable hiring a nanny or anything, so she's definitely just gonna work from home, and just, we're gonna hope that we get it figured out. But her performance level is already okay, like, just okay, so I'm a little nervous. You're literally gonna get like five hours of sleep. I'm sorry, girl. I did not mean to do this. Oh wait, she does need to shower. I'm gonna make her shower first. I'm not sending her to bed when she literally peed herself. Like, that's disgusting. <laughs> but see, this is, this is why she did in the first place, because my needs are just so messed up. It's literally all the way down, but it's still green and it makes zero sense. I don't know. It's been like this for quite a while now at this point, so I don't know what the issue is, because like I've tried like taking out my mods and stuff, but like it's still there, so I don't know what it is. What? Uh, navigate Navigating needs. Is this with the new update? I assume it is because none of this stuff was there before, but navigating needs. Congratulations, you have completed the navigating needs discovery quest. Reward needs potion. Okay, so I can just fill. Okay, that's cool, I guess. I'm never gonna use that because I'm gonna forget that it exists, but oh wait, maybe we will use the fun one right now just to just to help her out. I could use the hygiene one too to get her to sleep, but whatever. Spring day off. Go on vacation or travel games. Wait, so do we not have school or anything today? Like, is that... No, it says that they have to go. So we're just gonna ignore this, I guess. Cause like, oh my gosh, it's six in the morning. Unbearable sadness from not being in his bear form. Oh, <laughs> so put on your bear suit, kid. I don't care. Whatever makes you happy. Not him like getting up and brushing his teeth. Like, what a good kid. Hello. And Madeline came in to talk with him or something or to watch him. He's probably, she's probably like, why, why is my brother in a bear? Whoa, Madeline, get out of there. <laughs> Girl, get out. <laughs> 
whoa, that like never happens. Usually he like swoos, shoes her out, not swoos. I don't know what I'm saying, but he's like not even like, just, okay, you know, whatever. But I'm gonna let him change into his bear costume because it makes him sad when he's not in it. So I'm gonna be nice and let him change into it. Oh, there he goes. Now he's an orange bear. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> that's great. I love that so much. So does he have school or not? Oh yeah, he does. Okay, well, he has to go to school. He didn't have breakfast or literally anything, but it's whatever. Wait, what does this say in here? I'm a bear. Childhood phase. Be the bear. This child will accept nothing less than dressing as an amazing fruit-themed ruler of the forest. It will feel unbearable to wear any other outfits. And he has high confidence, which is really cute. So I'm gonna go ahead and make him... I'm gonna make him make some friends because I think that we need to have some cute cute little like play dates with some of his friends and I think like I just think that'd be really cute. A hangnail? Amelia's nails have rebelled against her. Oh my lord. The hangnails really are the worst though. They like they can be so painful sometimes. Oh my god Albert ca Albert's calling us. Oh my god what what the no I wanted to answer the call from Daniel's dad. No Jonah get out of here. <laughs> we found an unsent love letter from Jonah to his teacher in his desk today. Can't believe he interrupted me for that. I wanted to freaking answer the phone call from Albert and he and Jonah interrupted me. Actually it was Jonah's teacher. How dare they? That was so rude. Oh my god the flower bunny. How does she have such a good relationship with the flower bunny? Hello? Okay whatever. She really needs a bath. So actually our only bathtub is all the way downstairs in the basement with the pool. So I'm gonna have her run all the way to the basement to give Madeline a bubble bath. Yeah, and we also need to work on skills. So I guess Amelia just doesn't- oh, she just hasn't gone yet. Except I'm confused because like she hasn't- it doesn't say that she's like late or anything. Does the spring day off mean you don't have to go? but you like can if you want to. Is that, is that what that is? Cause maybe I shouldn't have made Jonah go to school. Cause I would feel kind of bad <laughs> if that's the case. I don't know, I just, I've never seen this before. And like, it doesn't say you get out of school or anything. Isn't that one of the events? Like not going to school or work? I don't know. I don't mess with holidays that much in this game. I'm not gonna lie. I should because I think it'd be fun, but I don't. Maybe I'll start. But even if she doesn't go to work today, she does really need to um, secure votes um, so she can be promoted. But I don't know how we are going to like do that. Um, Actually, oh my gosh, I know exactly what we're gonna do. So I know that Albert is the one that called and wanted to come over, but we are going to invite um over actually no we will invite albert over because he just lost his son and that is a lot so we'll invite him to hang out and just kind of spend time with madeline while amelia goes out and does work and why is i hate how some things dis like don't show up on the walls when your walls are down but other things do like why can i see this but i can't see the towel that's there apparently like it just it drives me insane i'm not gonna lie like why why it's not like this is a functional object like i don't understand i don't Except now I just ruined the placement. Uh, this mod is a blessing and a curse. We'll move it right there. <laughs> I, I was gonna say I'll just ignore it, but I can't when it just floats everywhere. Oh my gosh. We just invited um, Daniel's father around so Madeline can hang out with her grandfather while Amelia goes out and like secures votes and just works on her job a little bit and just socializes. Um, oh, he's just gonna come right in. Okay, you, you do you. He knocked on the door, decided he was waiting too long and then just walked in, which is so real, honestly. So, um, um, I'm going to, I have this mod that allows me to control any sim, so I'm gonna go ahead and use that on him real quick so I can just kind of control him and make him like actually take care of Madeline and everything because without it, he probably wouldn't. And I'm gonna go ahead and have th these two chat a little bit. Just, um, I think they're gonna definitely chat about Daniel, obviously, and just she's gonna ask, they're gonna ask each other like how they're doing and everything, like as you would, you know? And I think Albert is just really really looking forward to spending time with Madeline and he's probably going to stick around until Jonah gets home from school so he can uh, have some time with him as well and he just definitely he did just lose um his kid and I feel like spending time with his grandkids will just kind of it's just definitely gonna help so I feel like that's kind of the conversation
conversation they're having right now. Amelia is like thanking him. Okay, we're gonna ignore the fact that their relationship just went down, but Amelia is definitely just like thanking him and it's just like, I just really needed this today. Um, I need to go get work done. So thank you so much for coming over and watching Madeline. And I hope that you stay around because uh, Jonah would love to see you too and all that jazz, you know, but it is 2 p.m. and Amelia definitely needs to get going. She needed to get going like a, couple, a few hours ago, but obviously that didn't happen and while she's going out into the into the town into the city uh where where did madeline madeline go oh she's getting into bed okay she's getting into bed you know if that's what she wants that what that's what she wants i'm gonna go have albert tuck her in and just chill then because it's whatever jonah is meeting so many people at school hello he's met like six people look at him go but jonah has been working hard and is now a grade b student and he met even more people he met so many people at school today. Oh my gosh. Hold on. Let me just let me look at this real quick Hello, look at all of his new like acquaintances and he has a school project So we'll definitely have Albert immediately help him out with that since he's home from school now I'm definitely gonna have Albert just immediately come down and greet him um, Because obviously she is quite literally running around trying to talk to people here <laughs> and she's earned a thousand simoleons on her holiday Okay, so I guess we didn't have to work today, which makes a lot more sense, but uh, she still wants to get a promotion, so she's just gonna go above and beyond and do it anyway. We're just gonna have her, like, promote politics and stuff. Okay, she seemed interested, so now maybe we could try and secure her vote? Maybe she'll... Oh, now she's angry. Oh, great. Uh, maybe not, but we're gonna try it anyway, because we need to. And I think she's... Oh, tried promoting her politics, but was unsuccessful. Okay, so we're just gonna ignore her then. We're not gonna try. Actually, maybe we should, because what's the worst that could happen? I mean, she she hates us, so she's definitely not going to, but like, I'm gonna try it anyway. <laughs> like, she, our relationship is in the red, but we're gonna try it. Come on, girl, you got this. Is she into it? Oh, yeah, okay, I saw that coming. Okay, we're just gonna leave. We're gonna run away. Oh my god, is that Daniel? I don't know what he's wearing. That is not the outfit I gave him. Did I say he was Daniel? This is Daniel's brother, Matthew. Sorry, I'm so bad with names, obviously. Um, Again, he's the one who witnessed Daniel's death, so we are definitely gonna come over here and chat with him. Also, Jonah is getting a phone call. What's up, Jonah? Oh, this is his cousin. One of my friends heard about how great you are and has been asking to meet you. Can I give them your number? Sure. Today is just a good day for making friends for Jonah, I guess, because he's just, he's a very popular kid, I suppose. But, oh, except I didn't really want to have this conversation with this girl, because she obviously doesn't like us, so go away, please. We gotta go home now. We gotta just stop all of this, because Albert is leaving. Yep, he's gone. Oh, and she fell asleep. Okay, that's amazing. It, oh my god, both of those two are just staring down at her, like, wow, is this what life has come? But since, uh, Albert left, we definitely need to go home, because because um, Amelia can't leave her kids at home alone. She like didn't even say goodbye. She literally just passed out, woke up, started saying like two words and then just ran away. Like, hello. Oh, I should have made Jonah do his homework and I could have had Albert help him, but I completely forgot, I'm not gonna lie. Elena would like to come over. Okay, well, you should have called earlier because it's seven and I'm not allowing any visitors <laughs> because it's a school night and they have things to do. He does? I was- oh yeah, I meant to make Albert help him with this. I am just not on my A-game today, guys. Oh my gosh. Keith. Okay, so this is his uncle. Oh, Jenna, I had a very strange dream about you last night. We were at a party and you kept ignoring me. I went up to you and tried waving in your face, but it was like you couldn't even see me. Was I invisible? Why didn't you see me? Uh... <laughs> What? <laughs> I'm just gonna let him be nice. That makes me feel better. You're a good friend. Okay, uh, all right, <laughs> whatever. Is he done with his homework? Okay, he completed his homework, which is great. And now he's just gonna start on <laughs> I cannot take anything he does seriously. He's in a freaking- I mean, look at him. He's an orange bear. Are you kidding? Are you serious? Oh, Madeline woke up. Girly. Oh, she coming down to get herself some mac and cheese. She is- <laughs> she's a strong, independent woman. How is Amelia? Okay, you know what? I think Amelia is doing fine. She can come and assist with his project. Toddlers in this game are so annoying sometimes, but I mean, they are really cute too. I mean, look at them. Just this animation is just so cute, and I don't know how you just did that. He is Feeling very confident. Wow. Killer school day. I believe in me. Homework champion. He's doing so good. Except it's 
11 p.m. and literally everyone is awake in this household, but you know, it's whatever. Madeline's coming over here. <laughs> I think she wants to help too. She just wants to be involved here, but obviously she uh, can't really do that. Oh my god, Daniel. <laughs> Daniel's ghost. I don't know how she would feel like being able to talk to him. I don't know how she her grief would come across. I mean, she's already feeling quite tense and angry and like yelling at him anyway. So it's kind of just like interesting. Can we just secure the vote real quick <laughs> with Ghost Daniel? I'm sure his vote means a lot. <laughs> I like don't love ghosts in this game. Like they're kind of cool, but like really they're just kind of annoying. <laughs> they kind of just break everything. So as long as he doesn't do that, I'm chill. Cause like this particular storyline was kind of going for more like realism and ghosts aren't really, uh, they aren't really the vibe. So I just realized that she never donated. I'm literally gonna make her wake up and do it right this second. <laughs> literally at the beginning of the episode, I was like every episode now she's gonna have to donate to a charity because she's just a philanthropist and I just think it'd be fun. So we're gonna have her donate a thousand simoleons to no sim left behind. Literally right the second or else I'm gonna forget. Cause I don't think she ever actually did before. She, it was just queued up and then she never made it there. So, oh girl, that sucks. That really sucks. I'm gonna send her to bed again after this. This is this is so great. But that is where I'm going to wrap up this episode. If you guys have any like storyline ideas or just things that you think that should happen, just feel free to let me know in the comments below. I am very, very open to your suggestions. I would absolutely love to do whatever. So don't feel afraid to leave a comment. Before we wrap up this video, I do want to add that I write my own original music and I have some of it out on streaming platforms, including Spotify and Apple Music. So if you guys want to support a small artist. I would greatly appreciate it if you click to the link in the description or in the eye right now and go stream my music. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to leave a like, hit the subscribe button, as well as the notification bell so you never miss another episode. I love you all so, so much. Bye guys!